Good morning, children. We have completed our two chapters of NCERT along with the question answers. Today we are starting the third chapter of our syllabus of first unit that is human reproduction. Right? Very complex chapter and very important on the of the purpose of exam. Okay? So human reproduction in this chapter we will study how the male and female gamete formation takes place that is known as gametogenesis you all know very well the formation of male and female gamete and what is the male gamete in the male that is sperm so we will study in this chapter the formation of sperms how the formation of sperms takes place how the formation of ova takes place right second thing is how the male gamete reach to the female gamete that is through the insemination the transfer of male gamete or the movement of sperm to the ova next is fertilization the fusion of sperm and ova to form the formation of zygote and embryo implantation the settlement or the movement of embryo from the fallopian tube to the uterus for the further development that next is gestation the nine months period of the growth of the embryo or the child and last is the delivery time when the baby comes out from the mother's womb that is known as parturition so these all are the processes we will study in this chapter in detail right now the question arises how the formation of male and female gametes takes place and where the formation of male and female gametes takes place. So today we are taking the first topic of our chapter that is male reproductive system. See children, the female reproductive system or the reproductive system in the female is very complex because the formation of baby takes place inside the human female and the menstruation cycle is also takes place or the monthly cycle is also takes place inside the human female and we will discuss the female reproductive system in detail later on but here today we are starting the male reproductive system here we will study what are the parts of the male reproductive system so this is the front view of the male reproductive system of your NCRT. We are having two diagrams, the front view and the side view. Aapko mainly hamara kaun sa chahiye hota hai, front view aur mainly yehi exam mein hamara diagram. Aap koi sa bhi draw kar sakte hai, lekin hame yehi karna hota hai, chik hai? Here we are discussing, discussing all the parts of the male reproductive system, chik hai? So, male reproductive system mein hum padhenge what are the gonads. 10th class I told you that gold nuts are the parts or the organs or they are the primary organs in which the formation of male or female gamete takes place. So here in the human male, gold nuts or the primary organs are said to be testes. Pair of testes are present in the abdominal cavity. Basically, the male reproductive system is present in the lower abdominal cavity in the pelvis region. Pelvis region, chante hai, pelvis girdle, hip bone, jahan hoti hai hamari. Vahi par hamara, it is just situated parallel to the urinary system or the excretory system. Here we can see the urinary bladder and the urinary bladder combines with the reproductive system through the urethra right so these both systems are situated parallelly in the human male in the pelvis region right testes are the place where the formation of sperms takes place right in the testes we can say so many mm -hmm. testicular locules are present locules these are the chambers or compartments which contains the so many coiled structures about 400 to 
100 testicular locules are present in the human male testes and so many seminiferous semini ferrous tubules are present inside the locules seminiferous tubules are nothing these are only the coil tubules which are present here you can see inside these locules the seminiferous tubules are present so what is the function of seminiferous tubules here so many spermatocytes or spermatogonia are present right and in the spermatogonia the meiosis takes place and meiosis is known as reduction division by the reduction division spermatogonia forms so many sperms which contains the n number of chromosomes how the spermatocyte how the spermatogonia forms the sperms we will study in the formation of sperm how the sperm formation takes place by the process of spermatogenesis so the thing is that the spermatogenesis takes place inside the testes so spermatogenesis is the process by which spermatogonia forms the sperms inside the seminiferous tubules the tubes which are present in the testicular locules in which the formation of sperms takes place another thing is the hormone hormone two hormones are present in the inside the human male these are known as sex hormones one of the hormone is sorry the, there are two types of cells which are present inside the human male one is sertoli cells and another is lady cells right sertoli cells semi i told you in seminiferous tubule so many sperms are present and how the formation of sperms takes place how the nutrition provide to the sperms developing sperms so so many sertoli cells are present inside the seminiferous tubules along with the sperms why because sertoli cells provide the nutrition to the developing sperms jab sperm ban raha hai hamara ya sperm complete hamara nourish ho raha hai to usko nourish karne ka kaam kaun kar rahi hai hamari sertoli cell और सर्टोली सेल कहाँ है हमारी जहाँ पर हमारे स्पम्स हैं और स्पम्स कहाँ है हमारे सेमिनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स में एंड सेमिनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स हमारे कहाँ पर हैं टेस्टिकुलर लोक्यूल्स में व्हिच आर द कंपार्टमेंट्स प्रेजेंट इनसाइड द टेस्टिस क्लियर टू आप जब हम बाहर आते हैं सेमिनिफेरस ट्यूब्यूल्स में टेस्टिकुलर लोक्यूल्स की ही बात हो रही है there the interstitial fluid is present pura ek liquid present hai in that liquid the leydig cells are present and what is the function of leydig cells they secrete the hormone the hormone is testosterone or androgens male sex hormone right so there are two types of cells present inside the testes first is sertoli cells provide nutrition or nourish the sperms second is leydig cells which secrete the sex hormones which control all the secondary sexual characters in the human male right second thing is the testes are about 4 to 5 cm long and its width is 2 to 3 cm and it is completely covered by the sac of scrotum ye aapko dikhai de raha hai pura aise karke scrotum ka sac hai idhar maine dikha diya hai idhar internal structure dikha diya hai idhar external structure dikha diya hai humne ek testes mein it is covered by the sac of scrotum why because sperms needs lower temperature comparatively to the body 2 to 3 centigrade lower temperature comparatively to the body और एन सी आर टी में गिवेन है टू 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 पॉइंट फाइव बहुत द थिंग्स आर करेक्ट ठीक है तो हमारी बॉडी से दो से तीन डिग्री सेल्सियस टेम्परेचर कम चाहिए हमारे स्पम्स को नहीं तो वो क्या हो जाएंगे इनएक्टिवेट हो जाएंगे या डाई कर जाएंगे दे आर फोर द 
testes are always covered or situated in the inside the envelope which is known as scrotum scrotum and testes are present outside the abdominal cavity bahar ki taraf body se ye situated hoti hain and these are covered by the loose fold of skin that is known as scrotum right to maintain the temperature inside the testes here you can see so many coil or tubes are present these are known as vas deferentia these are the tubes which carry the sperms from the testes and they release the sperms inside the epididymis epididymis is stored the sperms or this is the place where the sperms are stored for some time and transportation of sperms takes place by this tube that tube is known as vas deferens right this one vas deferens you can see it starts from the epididymis and it will join the urethra theek hai vas deferens kahan se ja ke join ho raha hai urethra se so urethra kya hai hamara it is the part of you can say urinary system or it is the part of reproductive system also here is urinary bladder so urinary bladder is combined with the vas deferens by means of urethra right here you can see in the vas deferens so many ducts are open which are coming from three glands in human male three glands are present first is seminal vesicle second is prostrate gland and third is bulbo urethral gland i told you in the 10th class bulbo urethral gland is also known as cow pierce gland right seminal vesicle provide the seminal plasma to the sperms or sperms need some fluidity to move from vas deferens or from the epididymis to the urethra right so that liquidity or that lubrication or that fluidity will comes from the seminal vesicle and from the bulbo urethral gland right this urethra or this whole prostate erect tube is known as penis and it helps in the ejaculation of sperms ejaculation what is ejaculation move out sperms from the vas deferens or from the urethra to the outer side right this penis is covered by the loose fold that fold is known as fore skin which pro which protect the penis right penis or urethra or the sperms or the opening of urethra is known as urethral mellitus right kya bolenge isko urethral mellitus jiske through hamare sperms jo hai bahar ki taraf release out ho jate hain so main part of the human male reproductive system are testes where the formation of sperms takes place inside the seminal vesicles which are the coiled structure present inside the testy cular locules which are 400 in number the compartments in which the formation of sperm takes place and the nourishment of sperm takes place by means of sertoli cells which are present along with the sperm inside the seminiferous tubules outside the seminiferous tubule in interstitial fluid the leydig cells are present to release the male sex hormone that is testosterone sperm moves to the epididymis through the vas deferens and is stored for some time here and the transport through the vas deferens to the urethra then to the opening urethra meters for the process of copulation or ejaculation of the sperm right so this is all about the human male reproductive system tomorrow we will take the female reproductive system okay that's all for today